Welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. This is not this was not a scheduled this was not a scheduled stream, but uh, I was working on something around the room, trying to edit some videos and getting frustrated with a video that I'm working on. I thought, you know what? Let's let's just go live. We'll have some fun with it. I don't know how long this one will run, but uh, you know, the right now the neighborhood's kind of quiet. Uh, my neighbors may be setting up for a pool party. In which case, if it start if they start playing music, I'll have to cut because I'll hit up. I'll end up getting a copy strike from uh, them, them playing their music a little too loud. So uh, I'm working on a little project here. You guys saw me working. Hey, Silbert, it's good to see you again. You guys saw me work on this before. Uh, these, um, I actually really like these capsules and containers. And I will go back and after this stream is, lot, is done, I'll go back in and put in a pinned comment where you can get these with uh, one of my links, a little affiliate link through Amazon. And you are first, Silbert. Uh, a little affiliate link with uh, Amazon. So I'll get a little tiny commission for that. I am still not monetized. I get that question a lot because I know YouTube's running ads on my on my videos. As of right now, when this video is, is going live, I am not monetized. I still have about 950 hours to go. So if you enjoy my content, you want to help me out, you know, feel free to run some of my live streams. I really appreciate that. And uh, always, you can also help me out by running the video in full. Uh, so I really appreciate that as well. Hey, Bacon. Streams, come on. <laughs> what, hey, what part of the country are you in, Bacon? Are you in the U.S.? Um, so let's start with, I got a little bit of mail to open here. This is, uh, whoops, sorry about the camera shake there. Got a couple packages from our friends at Amazon Prime. This here is the Spartaco Tenacious. Uh, I, if you would like to see me review this at some point, you know, you can let me know. Uh, I don't know. I've got, I'm kind of holding off on knife reviews right now. Friend of the, a friend, uh, not a friend, but a channel that I admire called Talon Say uh, got himself demonetized and he's not clear why, but he did a ton of knife videos and he had some pew 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 stuff on there too. But um, he, he was thinking it was that, but I, but I don't know. It's, it's really not clear now. And the reason why I'm wondering if it's the knife thing is because I tried to do a promotion on Instagram and Instagram flagged flagged it and said that basically they considered knives to be weapons. Now, you and I know this is a tool. It's not a weapon, okay? But, you know, social media, they all tend to have very similar policies and that's why I think it might have been to do with that. So until the dust settles on that, I'm holding off on any knife reviews. But if you would like to purchase that through my affiliate link, I'll drop that in there as well. I'll put a link for that as well. Spartaco makes good knives. I know the, demonet the demonetization thing is, is very, very aggravating because they're not clear. If they would just give clear policy, uh, we could, you know, if you said, okay, no more, no more knife videos. Okay, then at least I know the rules. That's fine. If you say... You can talk about pew, 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 but you can't show a loaded pew, pew, pew. Okay, then at least we know the rules, but they're never really clear, and it tends to be very, very hard to figure out what's going on. That being said, let's go on to the rest of the video. I'm going to go ahead and open these packages, so bear with me for a second. All right, and no big surprise for you all, but... <laughs> Basically, I got more of the same. Okay, these are this is what it looks like. These are the on fire guy capsules, and I got two packages, two packages, two packages of these. Uh, one fits the American Eagles, and one fits like most of the other large one round, one ounce round coins. So I got two packages of these. I'm gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna load some of these up into their capsules, and I'm gonna talk to you all a little bit about the what's the current state of silver, gold, cryptocurrency, and, and whatnot. So if you guys have any thoughts on this, please feel free to chime in in comments. Uh, I, I definitely welcome other people's opinions. But let me open this other package here, and then I'll get my gloves on and we'll get started. I'll show you some cool coins as we go. Okay, so these are, this is the 40, million, 40 millimeter ones, and they come with those clear tubes with the red cap, and then inside there is the actual capsules. All right. Once again, that's the Spartaco Tenacious. If you like that, you can check that out. All right, getting my gloves on here. I got, uh, I got a couple comments on one of my videos where I think it was the one where I was talking about the Silver Raid where people were on me for not wearing my gloves while handling my silver and they said, you know better, Sarge. And I do know better. 
<laughs> I was being a little bit uh, lazy about it because it's kind of hard to put these in the capsules when you when you got the gloves on, but I guess I just gotta suck it up, right? <laughs> Sorry for the background noise, that's just me opening the packages. All right, we'll see what we can do with this here today. These, I really like this. Out of all the different capsules that I've tried, this is probably my favorite. We'll dump some of these out here so you guys can, that's basically what it looks like when they come in. Okay. We'll dump those out. So what, uh, let's start with crypto, I guess. I know you all are here for silver, but we're gonna, let's talk about crypto real quick. So what's going on with uh, the cryptocurrencies market? So I am, I am partially invested in crypto. I'm not heavily invested in it. I don't have a ton of money in it. And so that's, what did I do? Is that the 40 millimeters? Oh, that's the 40 millimeters. Shoot, okay. That's... Um, Probably need those ones for the American Eagles. Let me open up the other package here. My bad. All right. So this one here is the 38 millimeter and we'll just kind of throw these over here on this side. Um, so it's we took a pretty bad dip in crypto, right? We took a pretty bad dip uh, a few weeks ago. It was up, like, let's just go with Bitcoin, for example. It was up around 36,000, and now it's uh, it's down around 35,000. So what I always tell people, if you're in the crypto market, I don't, when people ask, well, what do you use it for? I don't see any, any vendors that accept cryptocurrency. Well, that's not how I use it. I buy and sell it, right? So I, I buy it when it's low, I sell it when it's high, and basically flipping it for profit. That's how I use it. What do I think the long term for that is? I don't really know. Um, digital currencies aren't going away, I can tell you that, but I could see like maybe the United States, you know, coming up with their own one that they can control so it won't be a true blockchain. This is just me speculating. I don't have any kind of insider information or anything like that. This is just me speculating, but I could see them coming up with their own version of a cryptocurrency and uh, basically, you know, being able to track everything. And what they'll do is... Well, I don't know what they'll do. This is me speculating. I could see some government saying, uh, you don't, you know, we don't want you using Bitcoin or whatever. Like this is, you know, who knows? This is just, it's possible, right? So in the, so I don't stack a ton of it for long term. I buy and sell it while the, while the getting's good. And that's all you do, by the way. And see, that's pretty much perfect fit. Um, so I buy and sell those. So I buy it when it's low, right? Right now, it's been at 35000 Per Bitcoin for a while now. Do I have? Does Sarge have thirty five thousand lying around? No, I really don't. But you can buy it fractional, right? On some of these, you know, uh, apps like Robinhood and things like that. There's there's several. You can buy fractional amounts of um, Bitcoin. And so, what are the four that I go into? I I, I tend to mess around with uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin. Ethereum and Dogecoin. Those are the four that I mess around with. And all four have taken a pretty good dip. So if you were looking for an opportunity, oh, sorry, I'll show you these before I put them in there. If you're looking for an opportunity to get into cryptocurrencies while they're low, I'd say that's pretty good. This is a pretty good time, right? And what I do, look, see that milk spot there? You know what? And I didn't even handle this coin that much. Somebody, a lot of people say there's something about the Canadian mint. They make beautiful coins, but that's a shame because that was a collectible one. That was part of the Birds of Prey series. What a shame. Look at that milk spotting. And if anybody knows a good method for getting that off, um, hey, Wayne, um, if anybody knows a good method for getting that milk spotting off, you know, I send post a link down below and I'll be happy to send that out in my community tab. By the dip, exactly. So that's my thought on it. If you're going to get into it, now's a good time to, again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just, I'm just a YouTube guy who likes to play around with money, all different kinds of money. All right. Hey, Digital Preppers, good to see you. Just used to mine Bitcoin, so it's kind of free. So have you done like a uh, digital prepper? Have you done a cost benefit on that? Like, is it really worth it to use up your electricity to, uh, yeah, they do, Wayne. 
uh, is it worth it to um, to mine, like, you know, versus, like, the electricity that you're using? Because I've wondered that. Uh, I know that, you know, in the beginning it definitely was, but I, they're getting, you know, the Bitcoins are getting harder and harder to mine. Sorry, I'm not showing you guys the coins there. Was, I think this was part of the Birds of Prey series as well. So this was um, 2014 and 2015. They released like, I think it was like eight coins in this, six coins or eight coins in this series. Really cool. I bought every one of them, but as you can see, one at least one of them took the milk spotting. So we'll probably encounter some of these as I go through this pile and see how bad they look. I don't know. I don't know what it is about the Canadian mint that the, the, the impurities in the metals or impurity or something that goes on in the process of... Um, you know, when it goes through the machines and it's getting stamped, I, I don't know, maybe it's the shipping. I, I, I just don't know. But you do, I, I seem to notice that with the Canadian coins more. And I love the Canadian coins. I love the silver leaf. So I'm not trying to turn anybody off of them, but just it is what it is. All right. So any other, if you guys have any other thoughts about cryptocurrencies right now, go ahead and, and post them in the comments. I'll probably go on here to um, talking about silver and gold and what I think's happening here. So if you watched my, some of you were in my, not really, especially since graphics cards are hard to find, spend some bit, might as well use the PP, PC. Yeah, that's right. If you've got like one sitting around, it's, I, I wouldn't necessarily build a PC for it, but if you've got one that's sitting around, that might make sense to try to put it to work for you. Um, it, what about like, you know, Litecoin and Ethereum, you know, is there money to be made there in mining it? See like right down, let me see. See right down there. It's another Canadian coin. Start of a milk spot there. That's really frustrating. Yeah, Sarge, it's frustrating, man, because they make some beautiful coins, but like, why don't, why won't they hold up? And I'm telling you, I didn't, like, these were sealed. I didn't handle these. Okay, so you can say, you can blame me, you know, for some of the times when I've handled my coins, but these ones weren't. I don't know. Very frustrating. Anyways, I mean, I'm mostly a stacker for weight anyways. I, I do have some collectibles like that, but an ounce of, at the, in the end, end of the day, for a stacker, you know, somebody who's kind of prepping it as a, um, a hedge against economic collapse or, or, or something like that, an ounce, of, an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver, right? Like, so if you're if you're somebody who's into it for the flipping and that kind of stuff, yeah, you know, the Peanuts coins, the Star Wars coins, those can be worth a ton of money. Uh, if you're flipping it, like, we'll talk about the Wolverine coin here in a minute because there's there was an error that went out. Um, but for me, who's like, an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver, it doesn't matter too much. This one's already encapsulated, so I'm just kind of move, moving it out of that package. Yeah, I, I don't clean my coins, but for here's here's my rule of thumb. First of all, your coin, you do what you want with it, right? You paid for it, but it does hurt my soul when I see people coining, uh, cleaning or toning something that's older. I really, um, it's hard to watch that when somebody does that. Um, but it's your coin, you paid for it. You can, I, I just, I would ask that if you're toning it, don't, turn around and sell it like that it was naturally toned. It wasn't. It was, it was, um, <laughs> speaking of Wall Street bet silver, <laughs> it was toned through, um, you know what? I could probably flip this one right now because of the, uh, the whole Wall Street bet silver movement. I, I'm going to put this one aside and we'll kind of talk to some people here. A legacy coin or a numistic coin, right? The, um, So, oh, here we go. I got a Libertad here. Let's see if this one held up a little bit better. This is the Mexican mint. So, um, let's talk about the error real quick. So, there was a, um, a Wolverine, it's supposed to be a 2021 Wolverine uh, one ounce silver co uh, round that went out. And it got sent out, for, at least 400 of them escaped with the wrong date, with 2018s. Now, when Silver Husky and Director of Awesome's stream on Friday, they said they, they know where, they've accounted for 65 of them. That means there's, uh, what, 335 out there that are unaccounted for. 
<laughs> Sarge. <laughs> All right, so I don't I don't see as bad. I mean, there is some discoloration there. See on this side here. See right here. There's a, but it's not as bad as the stuff I'm seeing on the Mexican mint. And the, most of these coins here in this pile are like 2014, 2015. Let's check this side again. Whoops. That's 2013. It doesn't look too bad. Um, there's definitely some discoloration, but it's not, it's not too bad. So let's see. I don't know if this is going to go in the ones that... Oh, it actually fits in the American Eagle ones. Okay. So um, there's 335 of those Wolverine errors out there. And if you've got one, you know, if you happen to buy that Wolverine coin, you're sitting on something pretty valuable right now. Now, people have been checking eBay and things like that to see how much they were worth. They were already selling for see it, what, what it's worth versus what somebody will pay. For errors like that, people will pay more, right? So uh, they were already seeing several hundred dollars for that coin, which I don't remember what it sold for out of the box, what, 65 or something like that as a collectible with the certificate and everything. Um, so huge, huge increase right there. But as we were talking about it in the chat, I said I could see those easily going for up to uh, $750 or more. Hey, Millstacks, good to see you. All right, so this is from, this is one of the African coins, and what year is this? Because this looks like it held up really nice. 2016 Somalia. Somali, sorry. And look at that, guys. That held, that's held up really nice. And that was not sealed. That was just in one of those little plastic tabs. So compare that versus what I just showed you on the Canadian Mint you know, in terms of the discoloration and milk spotting. That's impressive, right? So nice job there. <clears throat> I gotta pull out some more of these in capsules. Sorry for the sound in the background. Um, I think that the, I'm tired of, uh, I'll give you my opinion. I don't mind being honest about it. It's, um, I, I think that I'm tired of the U.S. Mint's games that they play with these limited edition coin releases and things like this. And me, if you're a collector, it really, to put it blankly, it, uh, it stinks. Um, it really stinks. It's, I think it's dirty the way they do it. They can't seem to get their website right. I will talk about the silver shortage. Hey, Silver Stacks. Um... I, I think it's dirty. I really do. And um, if you're a collector, it stinks. If you're a stacker like me, I don't, I don't let it bother me too much because if I'm going to get any anything off of the like the new releases and things like that, and the new um, peace dollars and the new version of the peace dollars and the new version of the Morgan dollars that they release and stuff like that, I just wait till it hits the secondary market because to me, again, in the end, I might be able to flip something like this silverback right now because that there might be more interest in that but i'm mostly an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver for me <laughs> bacon you do what you got to do i always appreciate you here with me if you want to go do your laundry you can leave this running it helps me out <laughs> um the coin shortage you talk about with uh, the uh pandemic yeah i don't know I don't know. I, I haven't actually gone to the bank and asked for it, but um, I, I never encountered it too much here, but I'm not dealing with a whole lot of change, even for, you know, my wife and I own two small businesses and we really don't, even with that, we don't deal with change that much. But the silver shortage, um, I don't know. The, you know, there, it would make sense with the amount that people are buying to me, but, you know, Director of Awesome, awesome says, it's not. It doesn't even touch the amount that's in re re reserves, and, and I respect his opinion a lot. Some people still do. Yes, clean money. Uh, this is from 2012. I know you all love the Queen so much. This one um, came shipped like that with a couple little scuffs on her cheek. It's almost like you know somebody um, punched her or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> Yeah, running out of course. I, I I figured what you said. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, is, so are you seeing that, that it's hard to get change like that? All right, so here's another Canadian coin. 
This one looks like it's in, other than those scratch marks which it shipped with, this looks like it's in better shape, right? Let's look again, do we see any milk spotting? Maybe a little bit start of it there, up in that upper right by her nose. And it's a shame, again, look at how beautiful that coin is, right? Like, Canadian Mint, get, get it together. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> all right, let's let's uh, let's put this one in its final resting place. Um, so, where do I see this going? So I can tell you every time they say, you know, go to Wall Street, bet silver, right? And people will say stuff like, uh, oh, my LCS is out of silver. My, I've never seen that. I've never seen that at our LCS. I'm not saying that other people are lying, but I've never seen it. I could go in the middle of that raid, and he may say there's some increased activity, but I can get older stuff. Newer stuff, of course, is might be a little bit harder to get. Older stuff, I can get as much as I want. Um, keep your post 64 down there. Yeah, copper, uh, so let's talk about that too. Uh, I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. So copper, the couple years ago, during the Obama administration, the uh, copper was actually um, a penny and a nickel, because a nickel has uh, copper in it too, actually had, they were worth more by their precious, not precious metals weight, by their metals weight than they were by their currency valuation. And there was actually some talk about changing the comp metal composition of both the penny and the nickel, but it seems to have died. So I do know a lot of people who stacked nickels um, and the problem there, why, why that gets to be difficult as a prepper, look at that. Mexican Mint, what happened? Look at that, guys. No, no, no. Okay, I'll ask mine, Sarge, next time I go, if he's, if he's seeing that, that people are, are not selling. Um, it's probably different from region to region, I would guess. Now I will say when the um does that go that goes in the forties, I think. That's right. That goes in the forties. Um during the first it wasn't even the silver raid, it was or it wasn't an orchestrated silver raid. Uh there was that weekend a couple months ago where like Atmex and JM Bullion, like all of a sudden the prices skyrocketed over the weekend and they had no inventory. Or it skyrocketed at the end of the day on Friday, and then they had no inventory for the weekend. Uh, I've heard some people say that they think they stopped the inventory uh, output. Like they just shut it down until they figured out what was going on with the price. I don't know. Man, that bums me out, Mexican man. Look at that. Ugh. All right. So what? Uh, where do I think this is going this summer? Well, they did shut, shut down output, clean money. So I think that... I, I, you guys, if you're in my live stream on Friday, you know I, I feel like we've got all the signs that we're probably, this is just my opinion, but probably heading into a recession. So during periods of recession, silver and gold tend to do pretty well. Okay. All right, here we go. Mexican Mint again. Doesn't look too bad. Um, so I, I think it could go up. Uh, in fact, I, I again, not, just not financial advice, just an opinion. I, I, I'm I'm betting that we're gonna blow past thirty. I know right now it's at like keeps bouncing around twenty eight, but for silver, uh, I think we're gonna blow past thirty an ounce sometime later this year if we hit the recession. Okay, and I and I think we're going to hit a recession. Again, just me me speculating. But if we don't, for some reason, if, the, if this economy doesn't go into a recession, we're going to stay under thirty. Okay, and I know that's like kind of vague, but that's the best I can tell you for my opinion. What do you guys think? I'll open up another libertarian here while you guys are giving me your opinion. If where do you think this economy is going? Right? Are you are you feel confident about it? <laughs> Um, I guess we have, but it's, it could have been worse, you know, uh, and, and again, my wife and I own small businesses. We took the hit. We, um, 2013 there for that one. 
We, uh, my wife made her business made very, very little last year. She's a baker. In my business, I do consulting for mental health and some training and things like that. Um, I I took a pretty bad hit. I still I still made some money last year, but uh, yeah, and inflation is my big worry too. Mill stacks. I've been talking about that a lot on my on my channel. That I I think we're entering. I mean, there there already is evidence of it that we're in uh, inflation, and it's a much higher rate of inflation than a typical year. So what it so is so in the first few months of this pandemic last year when they shut a lot of stuff down food costs are way up um the last time i checked the inflation on food grocery prices was seven percent it's i i actually think it's higher than that now and they're hiding some of that inflation by making the serving sizes smaller, the boxes smaller. So, so it look it looks it, it is actually even worse than it looks. The job growth is another issue. We have a lot of people here in Charleston that don't want to come back to work, and um, and I'm also reading a lot of reports about people that don't want to go back to work in the office. Those who were able to work from home, and I get that. And if you watch my live stream on Friday, uh, my feeling on, is, on that is that if people who can shrink inflation, yes, that's what it's called. Um, so when the when the box size and the and the number of servings in your box at the grocery store goes down, shrink inflation. My my opinion on that on Friday stands, which was that if people can work from home, that's better for everybody. And so it's silly that we're making people come back just for like whatever political reasons or whatever. Oh yeah, definitely digital prepper. Um, does anybody feel like we're moving in, in the right direction with the economy? Anybody that's in chat, you know, is anybody feeling like it's? Oh, here's a Britannia. Good, I haven't seen one of these yet. Um, does anybody feel like you're you're confident that this that we're going to be pulling out of this in third quarter? And then, it, like, I, I welcome disagreement. So if you if you think that I'm completely wrong, you know, give me your opinion. So how how hard are you guys stacking right now? Are people going at the silver and and gold real hard? It was a twenty fourteen, by the way. The new Britannias, by the way, the twenty twenty one. About your boots. I'm sorry, I missed it, Bacon. Yeah, and the and unemployment benefits running out. Uh, the the hey DA sales. Um, I think that will push some people back into the market. I think that that's going to um, – all of a sudden what's going to happen is when people's bonuses, you know, the, the bonus unemployment runs out, I think you're going to have a whole lot of people trying to find a job at the same time, and that's not a good place to be. I was in that boat in 2008 or whatever. My program that I was running uh, got shut down, and uh, it was just one of those downsizing things. I'm worried about the variants too. Can you explain that, Sarge? Uh, you're, I'm out of the wheel. I'm it's way outside my wheelhouse. Yeah, and that that's probably true. True, two mill stacks, but I think it started with the recession. I think that's when, at least, that's when I first started getting into stacking was 2008 ish, and it was because I heard other people saying this thing's going to go on for a long time. This is what we know about precious metals throughout history, and that's when I got started with uh, getting into silver. Um, all right, what's this? I don't remember buying some of this stuff, y'all. The year of the sheep, <laughs> 2015. Every year is the year of the sheep, isn't it? Every year. So the 2021 Britannias, in my opinion, are really, really pretty. They are um, the best of 2021 so far, in my, that's just my opinion. They are uh, really, really cool. And I picked up one of the gold ones. Does that not fit in there? Let's try that again. There we go. Um, I picked up one of the gold ones and was happy to get my hands on that. It's got a little security feature, like a little hologram security feature. It's really cool. <laughs> Bacon, when are you streaming again? And actually, uh, everybody in the chat, tell me when your live streams are or tell, tell the chat when your live streams are. I like to encourage people to... 
What size? Oh, I got. Um, I I couldn't afford a full ounce. It was a quarter ounce. People will jump in, then though a trap opens. Everyone except those in the club. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm not in the club, and and I'm guessing that none of you are either. So that's it is what it is. So you just you play your best hand, right? So yeah, um, the yeah, and it did. You're right. The 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 uh, silver did better was when it's when we started to come out of the recession but it's i think it started uh during the recession that's just that's just what i my observation you can go back and, and check that but um i was glad that i got into stacking before it hit like 40 an ounce i didn't sell any then if it went up back up to 40 an ounce i'm not selling my stack but i would probably take some profits and by taking profits you know what i mean is i might sell Five percent. There's another one of the birds of prey. This one seems to have held up a little bit better. So what I mean by that is I might sell like five percent of my stack or something like that. Saturday night for Bacon's live stream. Uh, anybody else want to give your live stream times out here? I do. I really encourage people to check each other's channels out. So. Um, the velocity of money. Um, so the velocity of money, correct me if I'm wrong, that's when, like, how fast it's changing hands, right? What do you mean by laboratory beaker glass? What in the world is this? I can't even read that. Can you all read that? Oh, hang on, because it's upside down. Oh, derpity derp. Oh, it's the African lion. Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, oh, I need to pour some more of these 38 millimeters. Okay, hang on. So anyways, that's, that's um, the taking of profits. To go back to that for a second. I think that... That's how I run my my crypto game too, right? So if crypto, if Bitcoin, just take Bitcoin for example, if that goes back up to 50,000, 60,000, then I will take, you know, be, hey MedFam, I will take 5% of profit at a time and I keep taking 5% off as it goes up. That's just how I play. It's worked really well for me. But, you know, other people buy it and they never sell it. They hold on to it. And will Bitcoin ever hit a hundred thousand? It's it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. Could go past a hundred thousand. Nobody, you know, nobody could tell us for sure. Um, yeah. So the other assets that I do hold on to, I've talked about this before too. But the other, why is I don't have no bottoms to this? What is going on? There we go. That one. no. Good Lord. All right, hang on. Um, I, I buy and sell for my long-term assets. I like Fortune 500 companies that pay dividends. Hey, Rob. Gold has been going up. And at and my again, just my opinion, 1900 is a good price. Okay. Anything, if you can still get it at 1900 for an ounce, I, I personally feel that that's a good price. Como esta? I'm trying to find the tops to these guys. So how hard are you guys stacking right now? Are you are you pushing hard? Are you, are you stacking cash? Are you stacking physical items? Like, um, what in the world? Are these all bottoms? What is going on? This is the weirdest thing. Huh. Hang on one second, guys. <laughs> so I like those Fortune 500 companies because they... Um, I like the dividends, so I stack those 
and I buy when I see a dip, like you know, if the S&P 500 dips, I start going after companies that I really like. Definitely stack some steaks. Meat is like through the roof. Definitely want to be doing that. Actually, wonder is that maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Buying cryptos in seconds at whatever night. <laughs> Med fam. This is the weirdest thing, guys. I, I am not seeing any tops to this. Huh. There's one back there, isn't it? All right. I'm going to mess with that later. It's probably my uh, finite motor skills have gone to crap. Um, so anyways, what else y'all got? Anybody have anything you want to plug right now? I don't know. I thought they were different, but maybe this coin just doesn't fit well in there. Let me try one of the, let's try one of the 40 millimeters. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll get some of the libertards. Um, I was, I'll be honest with you. I was pretty mad. No, that's too small. It might be just that coin is too thick. T-H-I-C-C. -C. Thick. Hey, Cash and Coins. Um, I, I do like the Libertads. I was mad at the Mexican Mint last year. And I thought, um, I, I thought they were playing, in my personal opinion, I thought they were playing games uh, with like these release dates and, and probably had bought their silver really high. But I don't have any kind of insider information in the market, guys. You know, you got you to gotta talk to like the big dealers if you want the insider information. And uh, I am not that. 400 plus for what? I'm sorry, I missed one of your comments. All right, so there's our American Eagle. We'll end with that one today, guys. So, and look at that. Whew. She's a beauty. What year is this one? 2014, 2013, let me say. 2014. Is that spotting there, please? Ah, oh, man. All right, so these are about seven years old. Thank you, Sarge. Um, and you could see that, that a lot of the coins, even the American one, got some sporting, spotting. Okay. T I C C C cash and coins. <laughs> I appreciate everybody popping in for your for your Sunday afternoon. Does anybody have anything you want to plug before we call it a day? I'll be back live streaming on oh there we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think that coin was just really thick, so I'll probably I'll just go on to the next coin. So because that that fit fine. Uh, I'll be back on live streaming on Tuesday afternoon at around lunchtime. So usually that's around 12, 15, uh, weather dependent will de determine where I go. If it's nice, I'll try to go to the river again. I know some of y'all like that, but, uh, we're predicted to finally get some rain again this week. We went about six weeks without rain here and it was pretty rough on the crops. And, uh, if you, if you're interested in one of these stickers, I still have some left. You can, uh, go ahead and send me a sticker trade. My address is in the description. I'll go back in here in a, in a little bit after the video finishes processing. I'll give you a link to the Spyderco Tenacious and to these um, capsules and, and tubes, all right? It's raining in Savannah. Oh, you're not that far from me, Clean Money. I love Savannah. I need to get back there. Savannah's awesome. I'm in Charleston, brother. All right, I hope everybody has... I, thanks, Bacon. I will try. Um, I'll try to catch your live stream. It was really fun. I was in there like a week and a half ago. <laughs> Bacon's got a, a really fun live stream. He's a good guy. I hope you all have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Spend some time with your family. Get some rest. Relax. We got another week ahead of us. Keep planting your seeds. Keep stacking your silver. No, who are you, Clean Money? Am I supposed to know who you are? Have a good day, Sarge. Oh, oh, Silver Britches, you got a new name. All right, brother. Thank you so much for tuning in. I didn't know you were in Savannah. Next time I'm down there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to private message you. I'd love to get together for a beer. All right, cool. 
I'll make sure that I remember that now. Thank you, Clean Money. Everybody, Alabama Farm, farm Life, everybody have a good afternoon. Go enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I appreciate everybody tuning in today. Y'all keep planting your seeds, stacking your silver, and taking good care of yourselves. This is Prepping with Sarge.